I'm Connor Melander. I'm from Half Moon Run, and I'm here in New York at CMJ with the AU Review. It's been real crazy, real a lot of ups and downs, a lot. Just basically been on the ro the road the entire time. So, uh, uh, among all the like massive rushes and feeling so great about how things have been going, there's been, you know, desperation about not having a home and all that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, but no, it's been an amazing, life changing, uh, really, really great. So. What happens from here? I mean, it doesn't look like you're stopping touring anytime soon. No. Uh, yeah, we're just after this tour ends uh, in a few days. We're going to Europe to do a headlining tour there, and then uh, a little bit of stuff in Canada, then right to Australia. Um, and after that, basically the album cycle ends, and we're gonna try to take some time out to write the next one and uh, uh, yeah, basically just uh, refresh our whole <laughs> our whole whole deal here so we can. Uh, get some new music, which is what it's all about. It's yeah. been all about touring for the past like two years, but we need some new tunes. So it's, that's what it's, like, so. it's been a long album cycle for you. Oh, very long, very long. I mean, yeah. it's been gradually released around the world, yeah. and I mean, it was one of those things that just like you know, Australia is a great example. It came out at first, it wasn't, didn't get too much traction, yeah. and yeah. then six months later, suddenly everyone's talking about it. I know, yeah. It, know. it, it must feel good though to. to even as a slow burner, it must feel good to kind of have that validation and definitely. have make no people are listening to the record. No, yeah, it, it definitely uh, reassuring, keeps uh, everybody motivated and all that. It, yeah, if it, if we just kind of fizzled out and everywhere, that would be a different story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that must energize you guys moving into the next record, knowing that you've got a record that's going to be heard around the world. And yeah, a little little different circumstances than last time. Yeah, at the same time, it's kind of like. Uh, since we recorded that album so long ago, like now, it's uh, we have all kinds of new ideas and expectations about what we want our music to be like now from now on. So uh, um, it's kind of daunting to go into the second record with that amount of attention and yeah. with our, all our our new expectations, everything we've learned since then. Like uh, we want to make a completely different, more mature record. Everything like the first one, very proud of it, but it felt a little bit hasty in a lot of ways. So like. Um, you know, at least the same amount of pressure that we felt going into album one, going into album two. So, yeah. well, some some of the songs live. I mean, having seen you, you know, at multiple times over the last couple of years, it really seems like those songs have qu changed quite a bit live of course, and, and yeah. developed. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the that's the nature of it. If they didn't change, we become we we get bored. But, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, but no, you learn different things that uh, the audience catches on to. Different little things that uh, interest yourself live and. Uh, gradually just work into a uh, just kind of a niche of what you like to do and it, it'll always change I'm sure five years from now ten years from now I'll be playing these songs completely differently again getting back to Australia over our summer your winter yeah you're yeah. looking forward to heading back down under oh, of course of course of course it was like uh, it was just the best thing last last year when we came at the same time in December to uh, just as it was starting to get like too cold in Montreal <laughs> to like, arrive and have like that wonderful 30 degree heat and uh, be able to go <laughs> surfing again like we, we stay we, we shack up in Cronulla mm. and uh, we have friends that own all the surfing equipment so we've been getting all into that tend to do like you know two or three shows a week and then spend the rest of the days either recording in the studio or at uh, the beach <laughs> sounds yeah sounds terrible oh uh, yeah sounds terrible I know I know lucky babies yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't sound like a bad place to write some music as no, well no it's become kind of like our second home honestly like um Indica, which is our record in Canada, also has a sister company called Indica Australia, uh, and so uh, through them, like we, our record actually came out uh, before in Australia before it came out in Europe or U uh, the United States or anywhere else. And so, like we actually, that was kind of that's kind of like our second market. It's kind of like our second home. We got a, like a house that we stay in down there with one of our record label people. So, like, can't wait to get back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're looking forward to seeing you and it's a, once again a pretty lengthy tour but it looks like you've got some surfing time in there as well definitely definitely